What's going on, everyone? Uh, this is my Pablo Escobar Operation Pablo map in Arma 3. I thought I'd sort of go through the editor and explain what's really going on. It's come a long way. I remember I edited the first video together. I don't think it was today. It might, might have been yesterday. Yeah, it was yesterday. And I remember when it was just these guys in the second story floor and there's none of these cars or this and it was just a shitload of uh, the search block. Really, these are. Uh, the South American gorillas, but they look kind of like the search black, or as close as I can get them to it. And plus, the drug cartel are green, so I can't really have the blue guys fight them. Anyway, uh, yeah, as you can see, there's a lot of commands on it. I'll just get right into it. Up front, we got what I called in the uh, editor thing or whatever sacrifice, like sacrifice front right. These guys are not really meant to survive, obviously. There's the car wrecks out here. They're like the first line of defense to keep them from just charging straight up to the doorstep and doing all that and to put pressure on them down there it's like the guys that get killed pretty much instantly in the the shows and stuff and it's got a similar thing over here except this one's a little bit different it's basically only one guy it's over a huge expanse of a plane so there's not really any cover unless they go to the right but also he's only got a submachine gun so it's not like you can really hit him that far and this guy over here he's, he's watching this way making a sort of a crossfire almost with this guy behind a concrete block. I added this guy in just because, and also this guy, might as well get this guy, this guy standing on the back patio over here because these guys would just come in unimpeded. I mean, sure, there was the guys, oops, he's acting funky. These guys in the window here, but you didn't really get a good angle on them. They could easily get out of it. I mean, obviously, it's not even in there. And this guy over here, I mean, he's got a good angle on it, but it's easy to get out of that. So I needed some more sacrifice, throw away troops on the ground. Adding on to that, I put this guy kneeling down in the back over here, just because, like, if they pop in through, I don't want them just, like I did with the one thing, where I just was the guy, and I just charged right in through here, shot this guy in the back, and killed half the throwaway people down here. I wanted there to be some resistance and some, I think, it's like, it's, it's Pablo Escobar, he's got, like, 20 bodyguards, so I wanted it to be a little bit more of a challenge. So with these guys, you got the ground layer defense, this guy's sort of an important position, he's got the uh, sort of off to the side here, it's all by himself, but he's got an AK-74, and he can really do some damage compared to everybody else down here, besides the other guy with the AK-74, they're like the upper level guards, these guys are sort of just like, more like Sicario throwaways, that uh, just thugs, just to uh, protect Pablo, but they're not like the elite troops, like the guys upstairs, or these guys, these little sergeants down here, and of course we got the one guy out here, just because they wanted to add more firepower down here, and there's this whole open thing and nobody was using it. This guy is sort of a throwaway too. I mean, it's not like you're really expected to survive out here, but kill a couple guys or at least injure them, and that's good. I got this guy on the stairs. I wanted to add a bit more of a dynamic element. I didn't want there to just be one guy for every window. I wanted there to be a house bustling, like, with people. Is that a surprise raid. Over here we got Pablo, the man himself. He looks exactly like him. He's an identical twin. And, uh... <laughs> We got his sort of like his limon, his bodyguard over here. It's attached with him, goes where he goes. But I noticed that this guy usually ends up dying pretty quick, no matter if I play as Pablo or not. As I was saying before, got this guy up here. He's got a pretty good view, but it's only good if he can hold him down for long. And then this, these front three, one, two, and three, right here, are the big hitters. This guy sort of in the back. I should probably sw now that I say, it, I should probably switch these guys. Get another rifle on the front. In fact, I probably will do that once this video is done. Thanks, you helped me out, guys. Anyway, uh, this guy's a pretty important position right here. I mean, he can even basically see the front two guys on the left there. I'll get to the search block after we're done with these guys. And these guys right here, these are the heavy hitters. I mean, they're very protectable position. They got half the window blocking it. They may have a small field of fire to shoot, but it's pretty clear. And they got rifles. They, they can pound them down, even when I'm not playing them. When, I'm, when it's just the computer, they can still lay some pretty good waste down on it. Now, let's continue with the uh, cartelitos, the Medellin cartel. Over here we got this uh, transport helicopter and we got six dudes that sort of roll up in it and it took me a while. I had to look up a YouTube video of how to get people in the helicopter but eventually I got it and that became a whole thing where if they got shot they'd sort of just fly away and fly around and just distract the search block from actually doing their job. So I have them do like a weird funky like movement thing. Like uh, they go sort of around it and then land and it's supposed to be like 
reinforcements. It's not necessarily the one Pablo was supposed to escape on, but it can be. But it's supposed to be the ones like, okay, here's the reinforcements. We're just going to drop them in. It's like the sacrifice to get Pablo out of there. Now, over here, my favorite part of it <laughs> is the, uh, the convoy. This is sort of like the backup. Like, if Pablo can't escape from the helicopter, then he's going to escape through these cars. And plus, they add, like, a little bit of a extra infantry thing. Sort of just plop them out. Added the only two different raiders than the Raider 1. Got Raider 2 over there with the Scorpion or whatever the hell that is. And Raider 3 with his whatever, P2000 or something. I don't know. I don't care. And uh, this one, we've got some guards in there. One guard. But uh, it's like the last resort. He's got to escape by car. He's got to escape by car. Let's get out of there. And then the main way he's supposed to escape that I originally intended, this was the first thing I did, was... Uh, just this helicopter. I took, this is the first time I tried getting somebody to go into it. But, uh, yeah, get, get the dude in there. And it's supposed to land. And Pablo's supposed to get in it and fly away. I didn't really configure it that much. I just figured if I was able, lucky enough to, able to actually have that happen, then it would be a victory in and of itself. But so far it hasn't. I'll be honest, the closest thing it's been has been shot down. That's basically the cartel. Mostly defensive, except for these reactionary forces reserve or whatever you want to call it. I don't know. But, uh, let's get to the search block. Now let's start with the reinforcements since they're the closest right here. Sort of a hodgepodge collection right here. Got a, a warlord over here with the AK-74 on his back and a pistol in his hand. And they, uh, he sort of leads. Let's see, what is it? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So 10 extra dudes. But 10 extra dudes who are really well armed and well armored. So that's pretty considerable force. They're really here to, uh, initially, to uh, to back up the original search block force in case they take too many losses and can't storm it. But also they serve the secondary role as sort of fighting off the uh, rescue forces. I mean, they're the ones that come in first contact with the convoy over there. They'll be the ones, the first ones to shoot at the helicopters and all that, even though everybody else does. But uh, let's move on to the main search block forces, the one that's main purpose is to take Pablo dead or alive, preferably dead. And as you can see over here, this is a pretty well-armored side. There's not as many dudes over here on the left side as there is on the right. But uh, this guy's got a PK per chain, which is pretty, or whatever that is, light machine gun, is pretty crucial. Because, I mean, if he can get around the corner here and he can just light up those guys, even if he just pins them down, allows the rest of the infantry to get into a fighting position and kill anybody else out there. On the right side, this is the main force of all this entrances, cause, uh, mostly because it's <laughs> looked the coolest on the second floor. But uh, And plus, it seems like the AI has an easier time going around this way than it does going around that way, because they have to take a sharper turn. So that's pretty much the main reason why. There's a lot of dudes right here. You can count them if you want, but there's a lot. It's, and I've noticed, as, you, and as you've noticed if you watched the previous videos, the sacrifices here tend to take out the first good couple of them, but usually there's one or two guys that get in here and just tum, 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 knock all four of them out or three or two of them out, and that's just the end of them. And then usually when that happens, these guys up here are exposed because not only are these guys dead, but these guys are up closer, and they're more likely to knock them out. And these guys on the ground are pretty much screwed. But that's the main force because that's the, the front door knocking force. They're supposed to I even have the movement commands, which you can sort of see, not really, but... Just show, highlight it, like these guys going up in here, movement command up in there, and then got different ones clearing out different sectors of the floor, but they're the ones going straight up to it. Now on the side over here, the sort of death trap, open planes things, only got six dudes here, but one of them is a medic, and I think I got a special one over here too, right? No, nope. It's the first scavenger I used, but I added them elsewhere, with the M16s or whatever. But these guys are sort of, they're not really screwed, because they're usually able to overpower the one guy shooting at them, or sometimes more. And actually, as a matter of fact, if the front guys fail to kill these guys, usually it's these guys that come up over here and get them in the crossfire, and are the ones that at least distract them, if not kill them, to allow these guys to come over and kill them. So they sort of play a secondary role, but an important secondary role at that. And uh, there's not a lot of them, but they usually, like I said, play their pivotal role. Uh, these guys in the back over here, talking about before, they're crouched because there's just more of like the stealth one that going in the back. And uh, they got a bigger challenge than any, pretty much either side besides the front. The front's got the biggest challenge, obviously, but these guys 
that's important because they can turn the tide if they uh, if they play it right. But they gotta get past this guy and that guy. Like I said, it's not really an easy task. I mean, they may outgun them and outman them and everything, but I mean they are on the defensive. They got pretty good cover and. They may have all the armor they want, but all it takes is a bullet to the face or the head, and you're pretty much dead. I mean, they only got, like, little tr tropical hats on, not helmets. Not that it would really do too much good anyway. They fire at them 16 times with an MP7. And, like I said, the one thing working in their favor, though, I notice is this bush. I mean, they'll, <laughs> they'll sort of hide in here with their camouflage and pop anyone, and they've been known to pop me. And, uh, finally, last thing on search block is, uh, this flanking side over here there's no door over here but uh, these guys right here are the ones that go in the back over here they take out this guy that's just standing all alone he probably he usually kills maybe maybe one if he's lucky M maybe two if he's really lucky but usually gets overpowered by then I mean it's only him it's a semi-automatic mp7 there may only be five guys here the shortest out of or smallest out of all the search block elements but they play a pretty critical role here too I mean the guy up in this window can't even shoot them, so he's pretty much useless. If they can get in here, if they can knock this guy out, which they do, if they can get past the initial defenses, I mean, they can uproot the whole building and cause the death of Pablo if they are if they play their cards right. And uh, these two over here, they are the ones that sort of go around the side and flank the front side, but they got to be careful of this guy down here. He usually ends up either shooting them in the back or they don't even try him. They just stay on the corner and hope for the best. And again, this can also... They can also prove trouble for these guys in the back if they don't die. I mean, but they are just sacrifices anyway. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this little compound raid on Poplos. It got this is the most detail I've ever put into one single armor map. It's the most commands. I just I never really put any commands in there before. But, well, not necessarily true, but the most detailed, most in-depth commands. Most I've added onto it. Initially, I just I had like 30 freaking guys out front, and like I had too many search block members and only one guy for every window in here and Pablo and his bodyguard and it was just it was fun but it, it really evolved it's cool to see it how it evolved into a completely different thing overall anyway hope you guys enjoyed it was a lot of fun to make and I'll still keep doing videos on it everybody just wanted to show that I did in fact change it and I'm actually gonna make this guy playable now before I didn't cuz top right right I guess I should have just said top right. I don't know why I put two rights in there. But uh, I initially didn't even make the guy playable because he was useless. Now this is the useless guy. Nope. Oh. Bye-bye. Yep. I hope you guys enjoy, and I'll see you in the next one.